Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So first of all, I'd just like to start off by saying happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the holidays and you guys are having a good break from whatever it might be they usually do, like work or school or whatnot. And today I just wanted to show kind of like a beginner level of video because I know a lot of you guys are just starting off with Python that are watching my content. And I felt find that this might be helpful. And obviously uh, it's a lot more fun when you're learning to be able to like make games and apply your knowledge doing something like that rather than like math related programs or whatnot, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a choose your own adventure game. Now this adventure game, uh, the pretty much the way it works is you're gonna be asked questions by the console. Based on your answer, you're gonna be led down different paths and based on what path you eventually lead up on, you're either going to lose the game or you're going to win the game. Now, obviously you can make these as long as you want. I've seen people make choose your own adventure games that go for like, you could probably play them for like half an hour, just keep typing and going and going and going and the way we're going to do this is just by nesting if statements and else statements and l ifs and by using like input and some basic commands in python that if you guys are familiar with you will already know i'm just going to be showing you how to kind of apply them quick side note uh, as it is christmas if you guys would like to give a christmas gift to me just know that i do have a patreon uh, donation link and a paypal donation link down below if you guys enjoy the content um, and it helps you out please consider donating as you know i don't make that much off of youtube and it really keeps me motivated to keep pushing out content for you guys that being said if you can't do that that's perfectly fine i would really appreciate your support with either a like a subscribe or just by sharing the video so with that let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to ask a question and i'm going to ask the user if they'd like to play the game typically the first thing we do so we're just going to say would you like to play and then what i do is i usually just put the answer i'm expecting in brackets so they know what to type okay so we've got that so we'll say if answer dot lower dot strip equals equals yes then in here we can start playing the game and otherwise so if they type anything other than yes we'll just print that's too bad not nad bad all right so what this is doing right here is pretty much just checking what this answer is we have dot lower this is going to convert whatever the user types into all lower cases and this is going to strip any white spaces from it so if you had like two spaces and then you typed yes uh, it'll just strip that off so that we can compare it directly to the string yes and see if they typed like any variation of yes okay so the my game uh i hadn't really thought about what i'm going to do for this i'm thinking maybe something like you're being chased and you have to choose like if you're going left or right or if you go down the forest or if you go down uh the sidewalk i don't know like some random thing it's probably going to make no sense but obviously modify this game to be whatever you want i'm sure you guys are a lot more creative than i am and i'm just going to make it kind of short so that you can see the flow and how it works so what i'm going to do is ask another question so i'm going to say answer equals input i'm going to say you uh what do you call it reach a crossroads would you like to go left or right just very basic okay or right and then if the user types left we'll go one way if they type right we'll go uh the other way and if they type like nothing else then what we'll do is we'll just tell them like they lost like they went down a path that was not acceptable or something okay so say if answer equals equals left and again we're probably going to want one dot lower and dot strip this and we can actually do this uh, just by putting it right outside the input. This will just save us from having to do it each time we check. So we'll just type this once. So dot strip. If answer equals dot left, and we'll say elif answer equals equals right. And then we'll do a last else statement here. And here we'll say print invalid choice. And then we'll just tell the user they lost. Okay. Or not they lost, you lost like that all right so if they go right then we're going to take them down a different path and if we go our sort and if we go left we're going to take them down a different path now if they go left what i'm going to ask them to do is i'm going to say like you encounter a monster um do you want to attack it do you want to run away something like that okay just a classic example so we'll say answer uh equals input and you guys can make these like really long like i'm just doing this very simple i'm sure i already said this but uh what did we say here we'll say you encounter a monster would you like to run or attack 
And then in here, what we can do, and I think you guys are probably getting the idea of how this works now, is it check answer again. And we'll say if answer equals equals uh, attack, then what we'll do is we'll print. Uh, that was not the greatest idea because you probably don't want to attack a monster. Uh, to do, that was not the greatest idea. And then we will simply say uh, you lost. And obviously you probably want to make this story a lot uh, more detailed and more fun because right now this is kind of a very simple game. We'll say else uh, or actually L if answer equals equals run. Actually, you know what? Let's just do else because if they type anything other than attack, then we'll just tell them like you got away and then you can keep going. So we'll say, okay, so we'll say print good choice. You made it away safely okay awesome and we can ask another question down here which we'll do in just one second okay so let's go back here now uh in case you guys are getting a little bit of con bit confused because we are working with a bit more code now essentially what's happening here is we're first asking a question right if they want to play if they say yes we're going to come in here and we're going to actually start our game and this game our game right now is what i have highlighted so what do you do after you ask the question so you reach crossroads would you like to go left or right is obviously we're turning it into lowercase we're stripping the spaces and we're checking their answer because this is in the same indentation level as when we ask the answer so we check if they say left we check hmm, yeah we check if they say right sorry i was kind of getting confused there and then if they say anything else we just tell them they have an invalid choice now based on if they choose left or if they choose right they're going to be prompted with different questions in this case, if they choose left, they're going to say that they encounter a monster. Uh, would you like to run or attack? And then we can go into this uh, part of the story as well, or this part of the game. If they answer right, well, we don't know what we want to do yet, but we're going to put something in here. So if they answer right, we can say, like, uh, I don't know. What's a good thing to say? I'm just going to tell them they lost here because I don't want to create too many kind of paths. But what you typically do is you create another kind of section like this in here, and you have like a ton of different paths. And eventually, and this is what makes the game more difficult. If you have like a ton of different paths and only one of them is correct, then you could be going down like a really long path just to find out that you could have never won on that path and that all of the possible like ways to get off or decisions you could have made will lead to you to lose. And in earlier decisions, you had to make uh, like a correct one. Okay. So in here, I'm just going to say print you uh, walk aimlessly is that how you spell that word maybe uh to the right and fall on a patch of ice why not you injure your leg and let's say cannot continue game over okay there you go is that injure how you spell injury? Maybe. Okay. Anyways. All right. So let's just test this out right now before I go any further and make sure everything is working. So it says, what do you like to play? I'm going to type yes. And it says you reach crossroads. Would you like to go left or right? So let's see what happens if I go right. So if I go right, it says you walk aimlessly to the right and fall on a patch of ice. You injure your leg and cannot continue game over. And there you go. So you can see that how that kind of works. So if we run it again, then we'll type yes again. Uh, oh, since I had this slash, we got uh, out of that so we gotta make sure we type yes correctly okay you reach crossroads would you like to go left or right so let's go left and then if we go left it says you encounter a monster would you like to run or attack so if we run away it says good choice you made away safely and then this is where we're going to continue our game so i hope you guys can see how this is working okay so in here we'll ask one more question i think i might wrap up the game because i think you guys are getting an idea of how exactly to do this so we'll say answer equals input and we'll say hmm uh you see uh, a let's see here a car and a hmm, plane let's see here which would you like to take and then we'll give them the options here which i know i haven't been doing but we'll just add this in now and then again we can check one more time we'll say if answer equals equals plane we'll do something here else so if they type anything else so like car or uh, any any other word then we'll do it in the else so they type plane we'll say print uh, unfortunately wow that was really messed up spelling <laughs> unfortunately you do not know how to fly a plane 
and therefore uh, game is over. We'll do that or something. Okay, you do not know how to fly. Dot dot dot, and then we can just say game over. Otherwise, we'll say print. And I don't really know what the objective of this game was, but we can just say you won, something like that, okay? So you can obviously see this game makes like really no sense. There's no storyline to it. It's not the point of the tutorial. The tutorial is to show you how we can kind of nest stuff like this. Um, so yeah, hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can kind of make your own choose your own adventure game. Obviously you would want to keep going, creating more paths, and it makes uh, a good game if you make some paths where you don't lose on one of the decisions. So for example, when we're going right or going left, uh, we don't lose on like both of those paths. So right will give us a new path, and this way it makes it more interesting, it makes there more depth to the game, and obviously you can play it a lot more times. So anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. That's been it for coding a choose your own adventure game in Python. And actually one last thing I'll just show you in case any of you are still around here is if you wanna make this game play on repeat so you never break it and you can just keep playing, if you put while true like this, and then you uh, tab all of this in. I don't know why that's not tabbing, okay. And then inside of the else statement, you say break uh, like this. What will happen is this will continuously run until they eventually type anything other than yes to play again. And if they don't type yes, it'll break out and it will end the game. Okay. So that's been it for Choose Your Own Adventure Game in Python. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again in future videos.